Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I'm finally back and I'm going to start doing uploads again. I don't know how often I will do them, but you're definitely going to see some new videos coming out on my channel. Um, I got a lot of stuff to show since I've been inactive for a while. A um, lot of finds, uh, actually a new bottle dump discovery, so that was a huge thing for me. Found a lot of local bottles, so if you guys are into bottles... Uh, I know some of the, my bottle videos have done really well. Actually, the one with information on how to find the date code on glass bottles just hit 10,000 views, so I wanted to thank you guys for that too. But um, let's get right into these finds I've had in September and October. So the first find that I'm showing today, I found September 5th. Um, I got this right before school. So... Actually, that was that was right after school started. Um, but it was a dateless Buffalo nickel when I got it. Uh, I actually have Nicodate now. So I was able to pull a date off it. It's 1916 Philadelphia Mint. There's no mint mark on the back. But um, I actually have a lot of 1916s, and this is the second or third that I've pulled from circulation. Um, this is the only the second Buffalo nickel I've got in change though. The first was my first ever Buffalo nickel, a full date 1930, but that was in 2014. But um that is my 17th overall Buffalo nickel and 10th of the year. Uh, I actually got more than that though. So, I'll be showing some more finds in um my next videos, probably coin roll hunting finds uh these are just in change. Also, some of the stuff my mom has got in her register where she works. She keeps her eye out, and if uh, anything special comes through, um, that's where uh, she or she'll save it and she'll trade it out, and then I just pay her back for the stuff. Um, actually, that buffalo came from there too. I say pocket change because it's just more simple, but that's really where it came from. Uh, so this is a 1954 Denver Silver Dime. This was found in or on October 19th. This came from her register too. Um, but this is my 56th silver coin overall. Since I started uh, coin collecting, it's found from circulation is that 56th, I mean. Um, but I've actually got a few dimes this year. I'm trying to think. I think I have a 1940 Mercury Dime uh, from circulation as well, which was a really huge find. But that was earlier in the year. Um, but yeah, 27th silver. So I actually broke my record that I set in 2017 of 21 silvers in a year. I've been getting a ton from nickel boxes. Uh, actually been doing some collabs with Relic Digger. We just really haven't been uh, uploading them. We just video chat and... Uh, coin roll hunt usually but we might start doing live streams again too so stay tuned for that um this is another huge find uh this came from the same place the register um so this was found or i found this uh september 12th this year um it's denver mint 1961 quarter so it's silver it's actually my first silver Washington from circulation. They're really hard to come by these days. Um, it was my 22nd silver of the year. Um, but I was really happy because it was a quarter. And I don't, I've don't. i only ever gotten two silver quarters from circulation, including this one. Uh, the other one was this year as well, a standing Liberty quarter. Um, I don't know if I ever told the story of how I got it. It was pretty crazy. Um... I might have a video up. I honestly don't remember, but if I don't, um, I'll look through and I'll definitely make a video if I don't. Um, these are some old $10 bills I was really lucky to get, um, all in the span of two weeks uh, this month. So the first one is a 1974. Um, pretty decent condition for how old it is. Uh, these $10 bills I looked up online, apparently the average lifespan of a $10 bill is 4.2 years. So that's like, this is really long for a $10 bill to be circulating uh, since 1974. Uh, my friend actually found this one and saved it for me, and I just gave him $10 for it. Uh, he knew I probably wanted it, and I don't, I don't come across $10 bills with the smaller profiles on them. Um... 
I don't I don't hardly ever see them. Uh, I actually got some older one dollar bills like when I was down in Virginia Beach on vacation this year. Um, that reminds me too. I have a lot of antique buys from there that I should show you guys. But um, this is my first old ten dollar bill from circulation since two thousand fifteen. And I no longer have that one $10 bill because I traded it. Um, so this also came from the register. This is a 1963A series $10 bill. It's in rough shape, but this was like, this is my oldest bill from circulation. Um, it's beat my 1969B $1 bill from 2014. Um, so I was really happy to get this. Um, but yeah, the same day is when I got this 1954 silver dime. Um, uh, my mom just saw those both in the register. I mean, I count them as my finds cause technically uh, she's looking for me. So, um, that's how I got these. It was just a really good day. I honestly think somebody cashed some of their old stuff in cause the very next day there was another 1963, a $10 bill in there. And this one is almost crisp. As you can see, there's a lot of ink left. There's not a ton of folds. Um, you still got some ripples in the paper. And there's not a lot of signs of circulation. So um, this is a really nice find. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's basically the um, most of my change finds from the past two months. Uh, anything else is really not huge. Uh, not like super notable that I should bring up um, but uh, I'm gonna be, try to get some more videos up in the future probably a couple more this weekend maybe one or two but um, just stay tuned because I have a lot of new content I can put up and uh, I will be doing that soon so thanks for watching